taking vitamins is going to actually shorten your life? Really? Well, check this out. 56 trials, clinical trials, with low risk of bias, which means that these studies were not done by some industry or a drug company or whatever, okay? They were independent, okay? So there's low risk of bias. This is what they concluded. Certain antioxidant supplements significantly increased mortality. In other words, they increased the risk of dying. Okay, so you're going to die earlier if you take these antioxidants. So now that's conflicting information. How can a vitamin or an antioxidant shorten your lifespan? It's illogical, right? This is called conflicting information. So you have to dig further at the details to find out what's going on, right? And if you dig further, you're going to find some interesting things. Number one, you're going to find out a lot of these antioxidants that were studied were synthetic. They were not natural, okay? Now, why do they use synthetic vitamins? Because the researchers concluded that there's no difference. They're the same, the same molecule. Well, I disagree. The molecule of a synthetic vitamin versus a molecule of a natural vitamin uh, does have some differences, which I'm going to put a link down below of those differences if you really want to know, but they're not identical. Plus, in nature and in food, you never see this isolated compound. And so they took this isolated compound, this chemical, and tested it and then made this very, very um, heavy conclusion that it's going to shorten your life. So it's going to scare everyone from taking vitamins. So the missing data, the key piece of data that I want to share with you is this. What does an antioxidant do? Well, what it does is it donates an electron to a free radical. What's a free radical? It's an atom with an unpaired electron. So when you donate an electron, it balances out this free radical to make it more stable. So that's what an antioxidant does. It donates the electron, okay? But when it donates an electron, it then becomes unstable. It becomes a free radical itself. And this is why in our bodies and in nature, you always see networks or groups of antioxidants. That way they can borrow an electron from another antioxidant so they can be stabilized. So you have lots of different networks of antioxidants in your body and the same thing goes with food. So basically they wanted to prove how dangerous these antioxidants are in an isolated setting using this one antioxidant, okay? All right, so does that make sense? Um, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to stress about it. You're not gonna get cancer by probably even taking these synthetic antioxidants because um, you have antioxidants in your body that are going to help you. So this is very simple. Don't take antioxidants that are synthetic, okay? Especially the beta carotene and the vitamin E and even the vitamin A, okay? Because those are the ones that they, they found a problem. Number two, make sure that your vitamins are food-based or in a complex from food, not a very specific isolated antioxidant. Okay, very simple. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into 
every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.